Why? Oh. Well, hi. Hello. Hey there. Double check, make sure. <laughs> yeah, the show over 13 seconds in. See when people pop in. Zero viewers so far. Bobby Kenai Jr. is live. It's official. All right, we're live. Yeah. Hi. We're here to talk about Mom and Pop, the, the indie video store boom of the 80s and 90s. Thank you. Uh, we're going to give us some time for people to pop in. Uh, we're here a little bit early, so four minutes early. Uh, we're going to be discussing a lot of things, right, Cagney? Yeah, a lot of things to be discussed. There is. There's a lot to this project. I think it'll be nice. It'll be fun. We're going to be shouting out people. And all of our awesome contributors we've had donate to the campaign so far. Yep, it's been really good, and we get to give you the update on the number, which I'm excited about. There we go. We're starting to get some people in now. Uh, if you guys are watching, feel free to pop in the chat so we know who's all in here, and I can give you guys shout-outs and say hello and that kind of thing. I'm going to just share around. Feel free to share this Don't video as well. <laughs> I'm going to keep it in. Oh, Facebook has those auto-captions. That's pretty cool. Oh, nice. Yeah. Is that just on your end? Uh, I, don't know. I don't know. If you have your auto-captions <laughs> enabled, look Maybe at technology. It's pretty wild. Oh, yeah. I don't even have mine enabled. Oh, look at Ryan Martell's in here. I wonder why it's showing up in there. That's uh, weird. I don't have it. You're lying. There's Ryan. Tim's watching. All right. All right. So, yeah. Okay, now I see the captions. Okay, cool. All right. So, yeah, if you guys will, we're going to start directly at 7 o'clock, 3 minutes. If you guys just share this around to wherever you think. Hey, what's up, Will? Wherever you think, you know. Yes, Ryan, you can come over and brush my hair. <laughs> of course. So yeah, we got a lot of exciting things to talk about. Um, share this out. Get this out to people. Get some more people in. Um, I'm actually going to share to some of the Vagrants group. Yeah, go ahead and drop it in Vagrants, Misfits. Yeah, uh, sharing some different things. Um, if you guys have any kind of like movie-related groups that don't mind like sharing, you know, hit that up. Hope everybody's doing well. Thank you for turning into our uh, tuning in, hanging out, and sharing the filmmakers, filmmakers. All right, cool. I've probably shared to enough now. So. <laughs> it should be out. Though. Ryan's saying the lag is real. Tim Loman saying watching, so excited to see the finished video. Me too, man. Um, we've got some really exciting things to tell you guys about which I'm pumped about. Uh, 6.59, I guess we can probably go ahead and get ready and get started and yeah, talk about it. for sure. Um, so I'm just going to start fresh like you guys don't know me. I know a lot of you guys in the chat know who I am, um, but I'm just going to tell you I'm Bobby Knight. Um, I'm going to be the director of this project, uh, along here with Cagney Larkin. He's going to be my assistant director, and he's going to be a huge like part of this, so I'm glad to have him on. It's going to be pretty good. Hey, Chris, what's up, man? Um, so anyway, what it's about, a little bit about it, mom and pop, it's about the video stores that if you're like me, if you're like Cagney, you went to. Um, you know, you have like the blockbusters and you have the family videos and stuff, but honestly, most of the video stores that I went to weren't those. It was the gas station down the road. It was the tanning salon. It was the local mom and pop uh, video store. Um, and I don't think they get credit like they should. Um, so what this is going to do is this is going to cover mom and pop video stores. It's going to go from the history of the first kind of independent video store um, and kind of catch us up by the end of the documentary to where we're at today, kind of people holding that dream alive. Yeah. Um, places like Orbit DVD in Asheville, um, VizArt Video, you know, people that have, uh, well, I, I won't say this yet, but I'm going to give something away here in a little bit. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're going to cover that history and it's going to be told by the people that actually lived it, the people that actually ran these video stores, worked at these video stores, and uh, frequented these video stores. Thanks for the shares, Ryan. I appreciate it, buddy. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to be a fun project. Um, we've got a lot of like bigger names attached to be in it. Um, people that you, you're going to recognize from movies, um, whether it be in front of the camera or behind the camera. Um, people from the VHS community that you guys know are going to be in it. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah, mom and pop video store. Kevin, you got anything to say about that? I mean, there's tons of stories to be shared, you know, amongst uh, 
people growing up in the video stores and just the independent video store boom in general that kind of fought back against those the blockbuster. And yep. We're going to try to chronicle the whole story from where video stores started to when they had competition at the height of their careers and yep. then where we're at now and what's keeping it alive, what's keeping the video store scene going. Yep, absolutely. Because, you know, if I feel, and I was telling Cagney this earlier, this is one of those moments in time that if it's not chronicled and if it's not compiled and told, it's going to be forgotten. Yeah. Um, you know, my kids and my kids' kids, when they grow up, they're not going to know anything about the little mom and pop stores and how they worked and how, you know, those late fees worked and how I was telling him we had little tags that you would pick off a nail and you would take that tag to the register and it would say like 512 or something. They would get video 512. Um, but, you know, like stuff like that, that is just crazy to think about. Um, and then one thing we, we brought up was we're going to try to get into like the adult video stores that were by law required to carry so many videotapes just to be able to be open. Um, and a lot of people don't know that that was something that had to be done. So we're going to be crying on that, which would be pretty fun. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that people don't know about that side of the video store oh, yeah. selling, you know, the retail side that goes into it. So it's just going to be kind of a tell-all documentary about the operations of video stores too and independent how they made it work. Absolutely, and Cagney brought up a really, really cool aspect. Um, something we're going to cover in the documentary is money laundering. <laughs> yeah. Uh, were some of these uh, tanning salons a front for criminal business? Who knows? You know, maybe They had to get that money somewhere. Scratch they had to get the surface it. on that. Yeah, so we're, we're definitely going to be looking into that. Um, but yeah, so basically to kind of tell a little bit about what we're doing, we're raising the money for this on Indiegogo. The link is in the description. Um you know, if you guys want to donate while we're live, hey, go for it. That would be great. Uh, we'd really appreciate it. We'll shout you out. Um, just to kind of tell you where we're at on Indiegogo, we're trying to get $5,500 for our budget. Um, we're, we're wanting to go over that if we can. And here in just a little bit, we'll tell you what we're going to do with the money that goes over the $5,500. But our base goal is $5,500. If we get to $5,500, we will make this movie. Um, it's not a... It's not a fundable goal if it's less than 5500 So what that means is Indiegogo tracks it. If it gets to 55 or more, we make the movie, we get the money. If it doesn't go to 55 everybody's money is refunded back, and basically we don't make the movie. Mm. Um, that's kind of how I wanted to do it, uh, because that's kind of like the number I'm at that I can comfortably do all the things I want to do in this documentary. Um, it's not fair to you guys or anybody involved um, to make a lackluster product. And uh, if I was to do it for less than 55 I don't think it'd be the vision that, that I'd like to see. Exactly. Um, so, you know, if it hits 55 or more, we're making it, and it will actually be able to be made the way we would like to make it. So that's the goal. Um, currently, we are at, and I'm very happy to, to announce where we're at, uh, we're at 61% of goal in like five days, four days. Four days, we're at 61% of goal. Uh, we're at $3,380 of $5,500. Uh, which is amazing. That's like four days. Like, yeah. Like, that, that's amazing. That's a little and a long way, man. That is. Or that a is. long and a little way. I got to mix saying. that up. <laughs> but, yeah, so, like, that's great. We've we've did that. Um, we're off to a great start, which is great. Um, but ultimately, we're about $2,000 away from hitting our, our normal base budget. Um, we've got 25 days left. I, I think we can do it. Um, obviously, we can't do it without you guys. The support of you guys and the support in the project is what's going to push us. Um, yeah, sincere thank you to everyone that's donated so far. You guys are ensuring that we're getting a quality story to tell to everybody. Absolutely, and I'm going to shout out literally everybody that's backed. We've had 36 backers so far um, that's raised that. That 3, is a eight. lot of people. Thank yeah. you, guys. It's, it's amazing, and I know a lot of you guys have reached out and said, hey, I get paid this day, or I'm going to have money this day, that's great, man, no problem. And, and I don't want anybody to feel like they have to to donate. Um, don't feel obligated to donate. Like, if you guys want to help and you just don't have the money, that's cool, I get mm -hmm. it. Like, you can share the post, and that's that's them getting eyes on it, which is great. I mean, just um, people seeing it means a lot more than you know. Absolutely, it really does. Um, so just a little bit about what that budget is going to go to. Um, so the whole overall budget is going to go to... Like, we've got everything laid out on the thing, but we're just going to kind of go over it. Um, basically, equipment that we may need. We have a lot of the equipment, and Cagney's got a lot of the equipment, so that's going to help us out definitely with budget. It's bringing that number down. Um, but hard drives, SD cards, um, we'll probably need a couple, maybe a couple microphones, um, but we're going to use it toward our equipment, 
Um, one of the big things that's going to be is our travel cost. Um, because where we're going to go is we, we're it's still pretty much a cross country trip at this point. You know, it's kind of, tur- yeah. it's kind of turned into that. And, um, what I mean by that is, so straight off the bat, we're going to be going up toward trauma studios. Yep. Sure so we're going to be up toward New York, New Jersey area. Um, we're in North Carolina. We're going to be stopping along the way when we get there. Then we're going to go laterally. Um, we're going to try to get to flashback fest, um, in Chicago, Illinois, and that's end of July, beginning of August. Um, from there, we're going to make our way all the way over to Des Moines, Iowa. Um, one of the guys that we're going to talk to is, if you guys remember the TikTok video and the story that went viral about the guy who created a full, accurate video store in his basement, um, we're actually going to go out there and we're going to go in that basement and film it, talk to the guy, and uh, really see a good firsthand experience of it. Um, he's been featured on Jimmy Kimmel and in the New York Times. So we're going to make our way over there. Um, the whole kind of like path, we're going to be hitting the main spots, but we're also going to be interviewing people along the way. Um, people that we meet online that will have a story to tell. People that want to show us their local video stores where they used to be and tell us the stories they have. Um, but we're going to be, it's going to be about a week yeah. um, that we're solid on the road, staying at hotels, going, going and, to these and then getting on the ground and finding these locations, seeking out all of these forgotten video stores, finding what they are now, uh, where they've been, and seeking out some of those owner-operators while we're in the area. And trying Absolutely. To some interviews. Yep, and what's really cool is some of these people that own these video stores, I've had a few people say, the video store is still there. Like, we still have the shelves and the signage up. Yeah. So we're going to get in there, and yeah, we're going to check them out. Stuff. Yeah. Uh, if anything, so when we talk about some stretch goals later on, trying to explore as many video stores as we can in America. You know, going yep. across and seeing all of the independent ones that we can and trying yep. to tell as many stories as possible. Absolutely. That, uh, so what, to kind of elaborate and go ahead and say, one of the stretch goals that we get if we get past the 5,500, um, right now we're going as far over as Iowa, um, which is a pretty good chunk. That's almost half um, from where we are, half of the United States. What we're going to do with the stretch goal if we get past that 5,500 is we're actually going to fly to L.A., Um, And we're going to go try to get in touch with Charles Band of Full Moon. Um, I know a lot of people give Charles Band like a bad reputation and stuff. I get it. But, you know, throwing that to the side, he had a huge part to do with the video store scene when it first came up with his Wizard Video label um, and his direct-to-video releases Full Moon. So I'd love to, we just want to get over there. We want to pick his brain and talk to him a little bit about it from his viewpoint um, and get some video stores that are over on the the West Coast, um, their kind of point of view. So that's kind of a stretch goal we're going to try to get if we get past that 55. Um, but yeah, so we're going to do the travel and expenses. Um, it'll obviously have to be airline tickets if we do that. Um, then we're going to be using like our food and stuff like that because we're going to have to eat something. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then there'll be fees that are uh, associated with like getting into festivals, um, and, you know, to try to secure more interviews. Um, and then, you know, the more higher up people that we try to have in the documentary, you know, some of those might cost money to try to get them to be involved with the project as well. You know, a lot of these celebrities aren't just going to come be on here for free. So Exactly. Um, and I'm glad you brought up that because we do have quite a lot of people that have been confirmed um, that are that I've reached out to and they've said, hey, we're going to be in the documentary. Mm-hmm. Um, just some of the people, Gary Cohen, director and writer of Video Violence, which is a big video store classic, Donald Farmer, Todd Sheets, Marcus Koch, uh, Enrique Cotu, Dennis Tinney, uh, which is the composer for Night of the Demons. Um, Tim Ritter, Killing Spree, Leaf Jonker, who did Darkness. Um, we've got video distributors. Uh, we've got Jeff McClellan from Ohio National Video Broker in the 80s and 90s, and Tim Sherrill, who worked for Waxworks Video Distribution. So we can kind of talk about, they can tell us from their point of view what it was like to go out to these independent stores um, and deal with them on licensing for the, the tapes and stuff like that. Um, we've got a ton of former employees um, and owners of video stores. Uh, we've got Josh Schaefer from Lunch Meat, um, Damian Maffei, who was in Wrong Turn, and uh, the, pray, the Strangers. Strangers Prairie Night. Yep. Uh, I mean, we're going to have Ryan Martell from Martell's Movie Madness, uh, Jimmy McDonald, who's in the on the Rise Guys morning show at 93.3 The Planet. I mean, the list goes on and on of all the people that we've got. Um, a lot of the video stores that we currently are going to be covering um, and checking out, it's going to be Orbit DVD, which is still available now mm-hmm. in Asheville. Um, some classics like Mega Video, Community Video, one of my old classics, Cat Square Superette, 
which was literally a gas station in the middle of nowhere that I rented a lot of my tapes from. Which is going to be so awesome to be able to see these, you know. Oh, yeah, we're, we're going to those places. It's going to be great. Yeah, and, like, some of them may still be standing. Some of them may be yeah. banks or whatever. You know, we're going to we're gonna see. Um, we've got Movie Madness, Valdez Video, Movie Max, That's Entertainment Video, Village Video, on and on. Um, so tons of locations. It's going to be time intensive, but, I mean, I'm down for it. Um, really, really pumped to announce that we will have a compilation soundtrack. Our, all the music for our movie will be provided by Hobo Wolfman Records. Um, they have multiple different genres, so we're gonna. They're allowing us to pull whatever music we want, and then mm -hmm. they're gonna compose a soundtrack compilation, um, and it's gonna be available on CD and vinyl, available through the uh, the stuff. You know, pretty sure it's a hot pink vinyl too. So it is a hot cool. pink vinyl. Pretty cool. Um, what's even cooler is there's gonna be a special track on that. The uh, Creature Preachers, Creature Preachers. are going to be making our own theme song for the Mom and Pop documentary. So it's going to be on there. Um, and literally, they're making it for this. So it's going to be a surf, psychobilly style track about Mom and Pop video stores. Yep, custom made. Custom made. So that'll be available on there. Um, as soon as that gets done, we'll go ahead and release a like a video, like a lyric video for that to kind of get you guys pumped for that. Um, but yeah, so... Let's say a little bit more, you know, you can get a bunch of different perks, whether it be a VHS, which is limited. Um, you can secure yourself a DVD because the DVDs that are available on here, this is the only place you're going to get them because these DVDs will go out to the backers and then we're going to, we'll maybe work out a distribution deal or something for a DVD. But these DVDs, this is the only way you're going to be able to get a DVD until some kind of distribution yeah, until deal. We, until we uh, secure distribution. Exactly. Or hit streaming. Yep. Through, um, through distribution. Yep, so donations are going to transportation costs, production costs, including purchasing, renting, any needed equipment, hard drives, stuff like that, food, entrance fees, the festivals we may need to attend to get interviews. Um, then we'll obviously have a small amount set aside for kind of any incidental stuff that might that may ha happen while we're out, you know, because um, we really don't know. Um, but, I mean, we have a great story to tell, you know, and I think, I think it'll be pretty awesome, man. And so do the people, you know, that's why we're, yeah. why we're capturing this. Absolutely. We're to hear from every one of you guys and you know, everybody's stories of growing up in the video store and your fond memories, and you know, it's great. So we get to have the customers, the owners, the operators, and the locations, and then some awesome celebrities to top it all off. So it's going to be an insane project. It's going to be fun. It's going to be really fun. Um, I do want to go ahead and shout out to you, some of you guys, like the people that have donated, uh, because, man, it's, it's an extensive list, and I appreciate it. Um, just starting at the top, we have a guy that donated that wants to remain anonymous, so we won't we won't shout him out. Um, but we've got Don England, Mark Dugo, Stephen Thomas, Emily Christ, Lauren Easter, Mitch Reeves, James McDonald, James Grabowski, Richard Flory, Rob Hinkle, Derek Stewart, Ross Meyer. He actually donated twice uh, for the DVD and the vinyl. Oh, yeah, my sister Brianna. Uh, Aaron Patton out here, he he actually contributed three times for a special thanks in the credits, hot pink vinyl, and VHS release. Good job, Aaron. We got Michael Morris, Cosmo Bunny, John Carraway, Derek Brady, Esteban Galliano, Joe Baroni, Liana Windhorst, Taylor Sagara, Brian Hammer, Ray Marquez, my buddy Seth Chambers, um, Henrique Coto, which I'm actually really surprised he contributed because he's actually one of the filmmakers where he actually did Scare Waves. So wow, like, right on. Yeah, so I appreciate him backing me, even though he's already backing me by uh, actually being in the film. So it very, shows very that cool. people have that passion. You know, that yep. People want to see this subject covered. Absolutely. Um, Brian Hammer, I think he, he contributed twice. Ryan Granger. Uh, we got Matt Awkward. We've got Brady Daly, Ryan Martell, who's also in the film, um, and Erica Franks. So that is the contributors that have contributed so far, which I literally cannot thank you guys enough. Yeah, for, big thanks, guys. Yeah, for believing in us. Because, I mean, I get it. Like, 5500 when you look at a budget, a budget for a film isn't, that ain't that much. But, oh, I just got, we just got another... Contribution. Donations are coming well, in live, guys. Them. It was my sister. Nice. <laughs> Hello, sister. A little family love. Yeah, so thank you for this that. This is now a telethon. We it just is. started the telethon. Yep, thank yep, you. yep. So, please, continue. So, we are at 
Ooh, even number. $3,400. dollars 3400 wow. 61% of our goal with right. 25 days left. Um, but yeah, so I guess we can go into like some of our stretch goals. So what a stretch goal is, if you guys don't know, stretch goal is when you hit you hit your initial goal, which ours is $5,500. Um, if we have time left over after that, you can continue donating. Um, some of the things we're going to do that we add on, one, like we mentioned earlier, we're going to go get tickets. We're going to go to L.A., we're going to get some video store footage over there, interview some people over there, and get in touch with Charles Band of Full Moon. And try Wizard to Video. Wizard the Video. Top dog, yeah. some would say. What's up, Erica? Thank you. Danny, thank you. I'm showing off the phone case that Danny and Hobo Wolfman made me. Very nice. Life with Louie. Yes. Very nice. Love you too, Brandon. Thank you very much. So she got to back her brother up. Yeah, we got some good comments in there, guys. Thank Heck you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we're going to get over there. We're going to do that. Um, some other really, really cool thing is actually probably the coolest thing that we actually just came up with today. Um, get a celebrity narrator to narrate yeah. this film. Yeah, celebrity narrator. Uh, yeah. One of the things we've talked about and we're going to get in touch with, um, if we get, that's a stretch goal, and we get a celebrity narrator, we're going to try to reach out to Joe Bob Briggs about narrating this film. That's kind of, I mean... That's kind of our number one pick. Yeah, we're just going to find out yeah. how much it costs. Yeah, we're going to find out how much it costs, and if we can get Joe Bob, because, I mean, we're all fans, grew up on Joe Bob. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, if I that, that's a dream. Like, if I could get Joe Bob to narrate our documentary, we're going to do it. I mean, yeah. if we can if we can make That'd it work, fantastic. we're going to do it. Yeah. Erica says Morgan Freeman. Okay, Morgan Freeman. We'll take it. <laughs> I mean, I I'm won't say up, no. I'm the date over there. Yeah. I won't say no. Oh, Erica said even better. <laughs> Joe Bob. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, if we can get Joe Bob, that's that's a dream. So, that's a stretch goal. Ryan Martell said, lizard video, question mark? Lizard video? Wizard. 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 Uh, but, yeah, so, stretch goals. Get out there and see Charles Band. <laughs> oh, that's a joke from our movie where we missed oh, Wizard. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, he made a movie. Yeah. You want to plug it? That's why I'm here. Uh, yeah, our movie on Troma, watch.troma.com. Martell's movie, Madness the Movie, part one, the beginning. Check it out. Yeah, so he's on Troma, so I just spent a lot of money to get this guy. Not, not, really. not really. Yeah. Peanuts, <laughs> peanuts and pizza, I'm pretty Yeah, pretty there we go. Um, some cocaine and hookers, I'm sure he's in. Joe <laughs> Bob. Oh, that's Eric. what Joe Bob's going to cost? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, we probably, if you guys get us our stretch goal, we can probably afford to give him those things. Yeah, so it's all up to you guys. Keep uh, sharing, donating. Uh, the more that we get, the more we can spend and make that, it as that's big it. as possible. That's it. Like I said, the base goal, 5500 I'll be happy with that project. If we get more, man, we can make this thing really big. Um, obviously, we're going to do everything we can. You know, we just... And I hate to ask for money. Like, it sucks. Right. Like, I mean, right. it really does. It sucks to ask for money. Um, but, I mean, honestly, if I want to do the project, i got to ask. So... Um, I'm not asking you guys to do it for free. Please claim a perk. Get something in return, you mm -hmm. know. Um, but I, I'd love to make this movie. There's not a documentary out there about the indie video stores. Um, there's ones about... Oh, there, Brian just plugged it, too. Michael Devlin said, check donations again. Uh-oh. 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 We need to keep the donations going. Let's see. $100. Oh, we're at 3500 3500 Oh, my God. Nice. We're going to interview let me, uh, Wizard Video. Let guys. me make sure he donated a hundred. I don't want to give him credit for like. But this overall, just overall, you know. Oh yeah, good. yeah, dude. Good. Yeah, we're up, Gravy. we're up a hundred. Oh man, can't thank you enough. Let me make sure it was just Michael. I want to give him the credit if credits due. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, country. Here we go. Oh, that's my sister. <laughs> Hold on. Where's the all right, so it's not updating yet. It's not updating yet. The money updated, but not the name. Not yeah, the yeah. I, I'm going to give you the shout-out, though. I promise you. Like, oh. I'm not just going to let it go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, he did the perk to be in the documentary. All right. You landed yourself a role. Congratulations. We will be seeing you soon, sir. Yes, yeah, so if you want to be in the documentary, guys, uh, it's $100. Yep. You get a prominent uh -huh. feature. You'll get the exact same questionnaire that all the celebrities receive, and uh, you'll get plugged right in to our segments in the film whenever we cover certain uh subjects yep the, and, the, and this is cool too because you know it's a hundred bucks sure you know but you're supporting us which is mm -hmm. great and you're going to be in a movie 
alongside people you probably would never have been able to get into a movie with. This is a, like a who's who of the video store industry. Like, and filmmakers like, uh, you know, Tim Ritter and Donald Farmer and you got Danny MFA from Wrong Turn. You're going to be in a movie with these people. Like, you might not see them, but, I mean, you can be like, hey, I'm in this movie. Yeah. You know? So we, we will splice you right beside them. We'll even make you a mini movie out of your footage if you want. For he a, will. A I will do that. I'll, I'll edit you something together you know, <laughs> of, your, of your beautiful faces. But, uh... Wow, that's great. Yeah, so so we got some cool stretch goals. Those two stretch goals, um, you know, if we hit a certain amount, we'll pop out T-shirts. Yeah, we're definitely going to do T-shirts and posters for yep. sure. And posters provided by Matt Graves. Matt Graves. Matt, if you haven't seen Matt Graves' artwork, he do, he does. So his favorite artwork that I've did. Thank you, Eric. I appreciate it. She said good luck. Um, she said I was cheap too. No, oh, that was nice. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, his favorite artwork that I've seen him do is he does this Tales from the Crypt stuff. That looks absolutely amazing. Right on. Um, so when I saw when I when I was like I'm gonna get a movie poster made, he was the first one. Like that, I, I was like I gotta get this guy because he's absolutely amazing, um, and I can't like say enough. Like, oh wow, well, yeah, like that's that. Awesome. Yeah, I'm just showing. There's the tells from the crib. Yeah, that was dope. yeah like Show all them to the, the to the people. Let's see if you guys <laughs> can see that. Yeah, tells from the crib. Um, there's some more of his art. Oh wow. You got oh, the green, the green screen. screen. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, Matt Graves, he does great stuff. Like he's really good, and I was like, I got to get this guy to do it. So Justin McDaniel said, definitely need a poster. Cosmo Bunny said, Matt Graves is fucking amazing. I agree, one hundred percent. And uh, yeah, the the posters are gonna be super tight. Like I can't wait. Uh, it's gonna be amazing. As soon as we get our funding, he's gonna get started on it. Mm. And this is all like hand done stuff. This isn't like on a computer Photoshop or anything like that. He hand does it and then scans it all in. So yeah, it's like it legit. Really good. Yeah, it's going to be good. Full custom mom and pop video store poster. So it's going to be legit. So yeah. Um, is there anything I missed? Did no. You think I of anything? Mean, we've laid it all down. We've got scored some donations while we were here. Yeah. Do you Now let me ask you. You guys, shoot out some, some questions. Trails to the crib. Trails to the crib. <laughs> That's the next movie we're working on, Trails yeah. to the Crib. Yes, of course, you can get the poster signed, for sure. Um, Justin, who do you want it signed by? Do you want it signed by Matt, us, all of us? Or, yeah, would it be... Because it be, it's not going to be able to get signed by all the celebrities. Anymore. Yeah, I don't think we could. That would be by a filmmaker, me and you, and it's signed by us. Yeah. Yeah, we could do it. Um, I, I'm sure Matt would. I mean, I'm sure he would. But, uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions... Please shoot if it's about the project, anything we're covering, about us, anything. That's what we're here for. You know, we just we need your money. Yeah, Artists and filmmakers. Yeah, Justin, absolutely, man. Absolutely we can do that. Um well that's kinda cool too, I can tell you. We're doing a very small crew. Very small. And mm -hmm. and I think that's important because I think you get when you get like passionate us, people. Plus, uh, we can't leave them out, Tim Ash. Tim Ash, yeah. Tim Ash will be uh, in tow with us and route, he'll be Gear monkey in in the back. Yep, he's gonna be doing some. BTS can I kiss y'all in camera in the movie? Right, that's in the script already. Right? I think so. I think yeah. it's the, the B roll. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's the B roll. It's uh, just actually, you gotta donate two hundred dollars. It's two hundred dollars <laughs> for a kiss. It's one hundred each. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what were we not talking about? Tim Ash. Oh, Tim, Tim. Ash. Sorry, yeah, Tim. our buddy Tim. Yeah. So Tim, Tim Ash. If you guys have watched my my uh, YouTube. He's always there with me. He's part of the Spooky Boys. We go to these supposedly haunted places. We've yet to find one. We go to haunted attractions, stuff like that. Um, he's just my really good buddy, one of my best friends, and he is always there with me. So there's no way I'd leave him out of this. Like, he's part of this group. So it's going to be me, and Cagney, and Tim in a car in my, for days. In my Kia Soul. Yes, because we were going <laughs> to rent a car, but he's like, nah, I got this. Nah, I'll take, my, take yeah. my baby. That's his heart and soul. But, um, oh, we just got another donation. All right. Let's see if this out. is uh, my sister again. How much money you got? Did you get paid today? <laughs> <laughs> Did you get paid today? <laughs> she must have got paid today. She just so, went ahead and got the soundtrack compilation CD. All right. So when we she were on DVD. here, we were at 3380 Is that where we yep. started that tonight? That's correct. And currently we're at... 
3,525. What? Wow. We just went to 64%. Wow, guys. Nice. We're going to total 64%. Tonight. That is cool. Like, I mean, if you guys keep donating like this, I'll just stay on the camera. For sure. We can just chill out all night. Yeah. We need to do a YouTube channel where people can donate through YouTube, you know. With the... Yeah, they do that, don't they? Yeah. We need to. We can actually do that while we're on the road, too. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I'm glad you said mm -hmm. that, that triggered me. Or not triggered me, but <laughs> that triggered me. I'm triggered. <laughs> all right, so. Well, let's push cool. this back a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, my we, man. We have actually been out of focus like, most of the time. Ah, uh, shoot. You guys well, it's a webcam. We're it's not even going to be on the documentary. The movie, well, yeah. maybe a little bit when it's we're digging through stuff. But, um, yeah, we're on a webcam. All right, so he's talking about on the road. What's cool about this is, and something that I was telling him that we really need to make sure we do is, when people donate to Indiegogo's, that's usually it. They don't hear anything else back until the movies come out. We're taking you, we're like going to be on the road with you guys. Like you guys are coming with us because we're going to make a Facebook page for the movie as soon as we're funded. And while we're on the road going to these places, you know, between us two and Tim, we're going to be taking video, photos, going live on the road. And we're going to keep you guys updated. We all are the going way. to be burning SD cards. Oh, we're God. Through the night. That's why we need this budget. And also, we're, we're shooting uh, on a Panasonic Lumix GH5 4K footage, so the, the files are huge. You know, we're going to need lots of uh, hard drives, SD cards. It's going to look great. Nice DSLR mirrorless camera that we'll be shooting on. And then uh, we're going to have to buy a field recorder for the audio as well, so that's something that the budget will be going to. So. Yeah. So your budget is it's going to be stretched. Like, we're going to make the most of it, um, and we're going to do a good job with it, I think. You know, we're obviously excited. We're going to have a good time. Because this is, like, road trips are fun, man. Yeah, but it's something we're passionate about. Too, yeah, man. exactly. Because we're finally bringing to life our youth and childhood. You know, oh, yeah, without a doubt. Every weekend. You know, me personally, I couldn't wait. The end of the week, Friday night, I knew my mom was taking me to the video store. And I was getting, like, three movies the last before the weekend. And that was at a local one-stop video, locally owned, you know, so... That's it, and like so happy to be able to tell the story and, and hear everybody else's stories because I know if I grew up, mm -hmm. me in the small town at the video store, you in a small town at the Cats Market Superette, <laughs> and all these thousands and hundreds of thousands of people across the world that yeah. have grown up as well doing the same thing. So we're coming to hear your stories, guys. We're, I can't, I can't wait can't to wait. hear people's stories, bro. Like I can't wait. Like we, uh, we just recorded an episode of Martell's Movie Madness. Um, where we talk about this kind of in detail, and we talk for like an hour. Yeah. Um, so that'll be up Friday, so you guys can kind of jump on there. Yeah, and I told some of our personal it. stories that you won't hear in the documentary. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, some crazy stories. You find out about my childhood and being abandoned in a video store. Like, I mean, crazy stuff. So <laughs> um, it's going to be fun. Somebody says you're already over 3,000. You only have 20 days left. You got this. Aaron Patton, thanks for the support. You know, I'm pumped, man. Um uh, the more I do this, the more excited I am. Um, uh, Ryan Granger says, if we can't get Joe Bob to narrate, get Lloyd. Shoot, he might cost more than Joe Bob, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. We'll find out. Yeah, we will find we out. We will find out. Because um, we're going to get, as long as we get over that 5,500, we're going to have a good narrator. I promise you. We're going to find somebody. Yeah. And it's going to be somebody cool because we're not going to settle for, I mean, Man, what is Louis Anderson doing these days? Louis Anderson, uh, uh, he's doing baskets with Zach Galifianakis. Oh, shoot, Galfinakis you're right. Playing he's his making mother. that money, bro. Yeah, making that FXX. Dang. Howie money. Mandel. Narrated by Harry, Howie Mandel. That's shooting for the stars. Maybe we can get Frank Stallone. What are we doing this match? What do you mean? Like, okay, so Lene clearly narrated this part. and then Oh, we can get multiple people to narrate. This person narrated this part, and this person narrated this part. You know, we could do that because you got to think, if we're hitting conventions, be like, hey, read these lines real quick. Yeah. yeah we could sure. totally do that. Yeah. But only if you guys help us. Um, yeah, we got to slip them 20s. We yeah, we got to give them something. Here's uh, Andrew Jackson. We'll be in our movie. Yep. We got to. Um, but now, I don't want you to think we're just asking for money because we, we need more than money. We need you. So if you have cool stories, if you used to, Jamie Kennedy... I do have kind of an in with Jamie Kennedy. That's cool because I met Jamie Kennedy once before. So, so he, we know he, him he well. Heckled, he heckled me at his stand-up. So we, um, any chance him. of a cassette soundtrack. Danny so says be cool. he likes goal. to play stretch goal material. I wish Jim Varney was alive to narrate. God, me too. Can you imagine? That'd be amazing. Mom and Pop video store, you know what I mean, Vern? You yeah, know, yeah. something like that. Yeah. That'd be no, great. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll do a stretch goal for a cassette soundtrack. I'm yeah. cool with that. So let's say, all right, so we're going to do 
Stretch, if we get merch, to... Merch, more merch. Yeah, we're going to have merch. My thing is this, and, and tell me, this is live, guys. We haven't discussed this. If we get to 10 grand, hypothetically, I think we can make it to L.A. Mm -hmm. I think we can um, we can do the merch. Yeah. And we can do the narration and probably a cassette. We could probably do that. Yeah, for sure. If we get to 10 grand, we'll literally do all that stuff. Like, we'll do all of it. Like You'll be able to get cassettes, T-shirts, posters. Yeah. And then uh, we'll be going to L.A. to interview Charles Band. Yeah, and the, what's cool mm -hmm. is those shirts and stuff, we'll use the artwork that Matt Graves did. Like this amazing poster yeah. artwork. You'll have that on the t-shirt. Yep. It's going to be nice. It's going to be cool. You guys are going to dig it. I hope. If you're like us, I'm sure you will. Nostalgia is huge right now. Everybody wants to talk about it. I mean, I've always wanted to. will always be huge. Yeah. People yearn for their past. Yep, absolutely. Every day. Um, God, we went way off subject. My bad. But we want you guys. So if you guys got cool <laughs> stories, message me. Message Cagney. Say, hey, I got this cool story, yep. you know. We'll put you down. I mean, we'll we'll get you, like, involved somehow. We'll either use your knowledge to kind of get us where we need to go or we'll interview you and get you in. We'll, we want everybody. This is a crowdfunding and a crowd film. Like, mm -hmm. we can't make this movie without people. Like, we just can't. Um, if you guys own the video store, even freaking better. Like, That's amazing. That's what we're for. There's other operators. Yeah, right? like, we we're really need fund. that right now. Because um, we have a lot of fans, always I'll always interview more. I'm yeah. fine with that. Um, filmmakers, I'll take more. But we've got a bunch of that. Owner operators, even if you're an employee, if you were a long term employee of a video store, great. Um, we're looking for memorabilia, and I don't mean give it to us. Just take a picture of it, like or let us come look at it. Like we don't need to take yeah, it. Yeah, let us get some footage of it. Yeah, get some footage of it. If you've got employee T-shirts, employee badges, membership cards, old signs, um, even rental cases and stickers. I'm t totally cool with that. Um, I was posting about needing stickers because that helps me kind of locate where these video stores yeah. were. Um, so if you guys have stuff like that, I'm totally down for it. If you guys had an important part in video rental, and it don't have, when I say video rental, I don't want you to think it's just VHS. Like there's video games, like too. Video game rental. Like if you guys were into video games. So I was renting Sega Genesis for 30 bucks for my local video store. Oh, you know what would be tight? If we can find one of those old carrying cases that used to rent the second Genesis, yeah, black yeah, oh yeah, oh that'd be cool. If anybody's got one of those, take a picture. Yeah, I'll if you have old there. clamshell cases or video store merchandise, like the racks, even you know, just yeah, just take let a picture. Us know you have this. Yeah. Stuff. And, and we're looking for like indie stuff, not like family video, blockbuster, movie gallery stuff like that. Um, just like the indie stuff, mm -hmm. you know, um, the stuff that. Because like I'll tell you right now, my like I said, the store down the road from my house that I used to go to in West Lincoln. Uh, North Carolina, Vail, North Carolina, Cat Square Superette. I guarantee you, Cat Square Superette would never imagine they'd be in a documentary film. Right. <laughs> never in a million years. They weren't thinking, hey, one day they're going to be doing a documentary on how I rent these VHS mm. tapes to this kid. You know, and that's what I love. I want to hit up these owner operators and say, you rent a store 30 years ago and now you're doing whatever. We want to do a documentary on you. Let you tell your story. Like, what were your struggles? You know, yeah. how did you feel whenever Blockbuster came into town? And uh, yep. what, how, what happened? How did you get forced to phase out? Why did you close down? Yep. What was the final nails in the coffin? You know, where did the video store world go? Why did streaming knock it out? It's going to be we're great. Gonna, we're going to ask these questions. We're going to get these opinions. And it's going to be some fucking hard hitting material. It's going like, to be like a vice documentary. We're going to pull on the heartstrings a little bit too because it's going to be like sad. This was these people's livelihoods, you know? It's going to be some moments. Mom and pop places were just people like you and me pouring our money mm -hmm. into a store. And what? then they, they got didn't expect it. Them. Yeah, they didn't expect it but they literally shaped people's lives. Exactly. They did. Um, and when we can tell some of these people, hey, what you were doing just as a job literally helped shape like I mean, we wouldn't be sitting right here if it wasn't for it. No, not at all. You know, so, I, I mean, I, I do think it's going to pull some Your heartstrings. Your sister asked, where's Eddie? Oh, Eddie was like, okay, funny story. So, at Cat Square Superette, my sister remembers me renting tapes mm -hmm. with her. Um, there was a different, that didn't even pop up on mine, that's no. crazy. Um, but, so there was different people that worked there. It was all a family. And what's funny is their last name was Knipe, but they were wow, related okay. to us. Yeah. <laughs> so there was Harold Knipe, and there was Carolyn Knipe. And they had a daughter who I went to school with that was like a year older than me, um, Elizabeth. Um, but I think it was, and correct me if I'm wrong, Brianna, it was one of their brothers was a guy named Eddie that worked there. 
And uh, God, I'm about to I'm about to spill the beans on Eddie. Eddie used to sell me illegal satellite cards. Oh, <laughs> oh my wow! God. Yeah, so we used to get all the channels. So you put them in your. Uh... Yeah, yeah, they had little okay, little yeah. cards. But anyway, regardless, pay no attention to that. Allegedly. 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 He allegedly did. Um, but anyway, yeah, Eddie was one of the guys that uh, that worked there. So <laughs> yeah, I, it was great, man. Allegedly. Yeah, I, I got so many. So we're like gonna that. find out where Eddie is now. You know, we're gonna see and ask like what happened to the mom and pops. What business did yeah. they move on to after the video store? That's the what? tagline for the movie. Where's Eddie? Where's Eddie? <laughs> you guys are gonna have to donate to this project if you want to find out right. where Eddie is. But you know, we want to find out where they went. What they do after that? And what, uh, how? What were their thoughts on the whole? thing crumbling down and yeah. from them, unfortunately as sad as it is yeah inner workings man i mean we just went and picked out a video and picked it up but we don't know what went behind on behind that counter Not at all. we have no idea so we're going to find out what went behind behind it was when it would go out we would buy another car <laughs> <laughs> she was replying to ryan ryan said this is a legal sally like, country tight i want to see what's that way when i dial up well um all right so <laughs> anyway um, yeah, so we're going to find out the stories of the people that shop there, like you and me. You're going to find out the people that worked there, the people that owned them, uh, the people that distributed those tapes and worked out the deals. Um, and then we're going to go to, like I said, the filmmakers um, that literally had to drive to these video stores, like these lower budget movies. These filmmakers had to go to these video stores and peddle their wares, if yeah, you will. Yeah, try to get them to carry their yeah, films. Yeah, because they didn't have a distributor. Yep. Like, uh, like Tim Ritter. He went to these places. These low budget filmmakers went out and said, please, can I put these movies in your store, you know? Um, so we're going to find out about that um, and what it was like for a filmmaker to walk into a video store and go, mm-hmm. there's my movie, you know? Like, and that's going to be such a cool thing for everybody to see that side of that, to see how the distribution end really worked in the video store, you know? It's something that you don't doesn't know. really get talked about. So. Yeah. And, and I'm just going to say, I had, I told you, I'm not going to mention the guy's name, but we had a guy kind of talk junk on the film saying it's basically just going to be a bunch of nostalgia, people sitting around talking about it. Yeah, kind of, but not completely. Bit. I mean, the thing It'll is... There'll be a little bit of that. Yeah, there's going to be some people talking about nostalgia, for sure. But we're going to get nostalgia from all the different viewpoints and the history of the independent video store along the way. And there's going to be a historical documentary. A historical yeah. We're going to put in so much now. time researching. Like, it's going to be ridiculous. We're going to be professionals. We'll probably do panels at con- yeah. conventions after this. So We'll be uh, video store historians. Connoisseurs. Yeah, yeah. Historians, wow. there we go. Yeah. Historians, yeah. New title. We can teach a college class. The video store historian 101. I like it. Um, but do you have anything else? Uh, no, I mean, not anything that I've been like yeah. that or anything. But yeah, just thank you guys again so much for donating and trying yeah, to see amazing. this project of life with us. It's going to be a fun road, so stay It's going to be great. I'm going to give you guys a few minutes to wrap up some questions if you guys have any before I just jump off of, you know all of a sudden right um but while you guys are shooting out questions i'm just gonna say reiterate what he was saying thanks so much for watching us you know ramble about this yeah I this mean, was fun we had a good time i had a good time uh michael devlin have y'all thought about talking to the video stores that are still open too of course absolutely we'll coming orbit dvd in Asheville and uh viz art video in charlotte as well and there's some few yeah. other ones right there. there's one uh my sister said she'll get me again on friday all right sounds good thank you um, yeah, there's there's one I know of in Tennessee, I think I was telling you about, that's been around yeah, since yeah. like 1985, I think, um, and it's past hands, and obviously it's a lot different than there, but the store's still there. Um, I also, a buddy of mine, um, the writer and director of the horror film St. Patrick's Day lives in North Carolina. He has a, he knows of a video store that the owners have had the doors locked. The videos are still on the shelves. Getting just sun-soaked. It's just sun-soaked. Nobody's been in there yeah. for 20 odd years. There's still dust on these things. So, we're going to get in there. Yeah, check like it out. we're getting in there. Like uh, we're gonna get in there. So we're gonna find these places, and then like like you were saying, we definitely have some places that are still open, still keeping that vibe alive. Um, that we've got confirmed that we're gonna be there too. So and we're just so excited to bring this story to everybody. I'm pumped. Know, I, I I'm excited wait. to get ready. Honestly, I'm excited to just figure out everything and learn yep. all of this along the way, and just bring it to you guys and make it look crisp, clean, and HD. It's gonna look nice. It's gonna be a great trip. Like I said, if we hit the stretch goals, it's going to be even bigger than, than what we've talked about. So thank you guys for jumping in. We will do more of these. Yeah, for like, sure. Like if you guys enjoyed this, you know, when you got any more questions that come along, we do another Q&A session as well. That's what I'm saying. I'm thinking two weeks from now we'll be about almost middle way. Yeah. We'll pop in. We'll do another one of these. Sit, you know, kind of check in where we're at. Uh, any new developments that we've had on the uh, kind of pre-production side of it. And, uh, 
go from there. You yeah. Want to check the donations one more time. Yeah. See if we've had anything come in. I yet? will check the donations one more time and see. Last one I see is from my sister so far. Let's see. Yeah, my sister's the last one so far. What you got awesome. the main total up? We're gonna end you guys with the main total. And I'm gonna upload this to the Indiegogo as well, possibly. So if you miss some of it, you can go back and check it. Three thousand five hundred and twenty-five dollars. Did we go with another twenty-five, or is that the same one? I think it's the same. Okay, sixty-four cool. percent still. But how wild is that? We are less than two grand away from our goal. Less than two grand. Like that's amazing. So yeah, this is gonna be fun. Can't wait. Thank you guys for tuning in. And we'll see you guys back in around two weeks. And we'll talk some more. Send me messages if you got anything you want to collaborate with on this. Thing. See you guys.